Metadata views are not one of the best known features of Final Cut Pro 10, but they are one of the more powerful ones. Metadata views control what is shown in the Info view in the Inspector pane, and what metadata is included in an exported XML file, and therefore can be used by asset management systems, such as CatDV or Axel, other departments, or reported in Intelligent Assistance's producer's best friend. While there are metadata view presets supplied with Final Cut Pro, each of these views can be customized by adding or removing metadata fields to or from the view. Metadata views can be duplicated and customized, or completely new views created. As well as an enormous list of metadata fields available to be added to any view, Final Cut Pro allows us to add completely custom metadata fields to any metadata view. The ability to export any or all metadata entered in Final Cut Pro 10 means that no metadata is ever locked in Final Cut Pro. The most obvious use of metadata views is to select what metadata is displayed in the inspector's info pane. Apple's metadata views defaults to the general display. You might notice that the general metadata view contains the same metadata items as can be displayed in the event browser. In an ideal world, changing the metadata view in the inspector would change the available metadata items in the event browser, but that remains a feature request for the moment. The basic view simplifies the metadata down to the absolute minimum, while extended adds additional information about the video like color profile field dominance, and any pull-down applied, as well as camera ID. Other default views include audio, obviously focused on audio-related metadata, and XIF, metadata most commonly associated with still images, but also sometimes applied to video elements from iPhones, iPads, and DSLRs with dual still and video capability. IPTC metadata was developed in the 1970s by the International Press Telecommunications Council, hence IPTC. Selecting the IPTC view appears to display very little information, which is because this file doesn't contain any IPTC information to display. Final Cut Pro optimizes the display so that the interface is not cluttered with empty fields. Of particular interest is the Settings view, where we get access to timecode display, alpha, and interlay settings, as well as any color lookup table applied. As well as determining what metadata is displayed in the inspector's info pane, the metadata view controls what metadata is exported into an XML file. If the metadata isn't included in the metadata view being exported, it won't be available to other applications. For example, you might want Producer's Best Friend to report content created, which is not part of the general metadata view, nor is it part of any of the other default views. This is easily fixed because metadata views can be customized by adding or removing metadata items, or we can create completely custom metadata fields. To include content created in our general metadata view, we select Edit Metadata View and make sure we're working with the general view in the metadata view window. Scroll or search for content created. We'll add the studio content created to the metadata view simply by clicking its checkbox on. Then click OK to save our settings. We can now see content created in the inspector. Content created will now be included in the XML export when the general view is selected during XML export and, as we see here, reported in the spreadsheet from Producer's Best Friend. Using this same method, we can create completely new metadata views within the Metadata Views window. Alternatively, we can duplicate an existing metadata view by selecting it and then choosing Save Metadata View As from the pop-up menu. Once you have named the new group, you can customize it as we just saw. If you use an asset management system, 
I recommend creating a metadata view that includes all the metadata you wish to transfer to your asset management system. There is one more trick, custom metadata fields. If there isn't an existing metadata field, create your own. Once created, custom metadata fields can be added to any metadata view. For example, I might want to add a custom metadata item for sound roll to the current view, which is the general view. The quickest way is to select Add Custom Metadata Field from the Metadata Views pop-up menu. Name the field and provide a brief description. You can also add a custom metadata field inside the Metadata Views window from the gear menu. A custom metadata field can be added to as many views as you wish to include it in. When we come back to the inspector, the sound timecode field has been added. Unfortunately, there's no sound roll metadata in the file to read, but we can copy and paste from other locations or enter directly into this new custom metadata field. Anything entered will be tracked with the clip, event, project, and exported XML. Metadata views are highly useful in controlling what metadata is viewed in the inspector's info pane so there can be all the info that's needed without unnecessary clutter in the inspector pane. They are useful to control what metadata is exported into the XML, particularly since we can customize metadata views by adding fields we want reported in the XML so the exported metadata can better match the needs of your asset management system or reporting tools like Producer's Best Friend. Finally, metadata views allow us to add completely custom metadata fields within Final Cut Pro and use them in any metadata view, either for use in Final Cut Pro 10 or in the exported XML.